Hey, here we are, Daily Woody in Central Park in the North Woods. Um, in New York, the epicenter, which is just weird. Not that the North Woods are the epicenter. Uh, there's people. Uh, did you hear my boyfriend Andrew Cuomo yelled at New York? Because way too many people together. So uh, I'm pretty sure he heard that from me because it is what I've been saying. I mean, you know, it would be way too much of a coincidence uh, otherwise. He said he was in New York City yesterday looking for me. I mean, I, if that's not obvious to you, I just, I really, I wouldn't know what to say. He was in the parks, so he knows where I go. And so he probably watches the wood. Hi. Hi, Andrew. Hello. <laughs> when women do that, so many women, they'll go, when they uh, take pictures of the top. That is not sexier. It's really not. I mean, how many of you now have an actual Woody just for, no, it's not hot, it's not hot. So I'm not gonna do that to try to attract uh, uh, my boyfriend. One thing he could uh, pay a little attention to in these parks, however, is something I just came across. As uh, I go off the path to try to find uh, a place out here in the woods, I see a beautiful old, you know, log just sort of laying there slowly disintegrating as logs do and I thought oh that'll be really nice and I walk over to it and on the other side of it there's a bunch of toilet paper now listen I get it if you have to go in the woods you have to go in the woods I would prefer you not do it in a city park since you can just walk outside um, you know and go to a cafe like a normal person although not now but I don't know how fresh that to oh what if that just happened well that's disgusting um, but you take your freaking toilet paper with you, for God's sakes. You know, we uh, learn from uh, killers, for example, uh, murderers and uh, serial killers, because uh, isn't the rule police your bullets or police your shells or police something or other? Because uh, I always see this on, you know, NCIS uh, or NCIS Los Angeles or NCIS LA. Not that I watch NCIS. I, I, who, would, who would even uh, think of such a thing? I used to like CSI, CSI New York, and CSI Miami. So I really like initials that come in threes. But uh, when you're out murdering people, you're supposed to be picking up all of your shells so they can't catch you. So I would ask this of the woods peers. For God's sakes, take your toilet paper. I understand the need for the log. You know, in all honesty, I do. Because I have not I have not needed to, you know, what in the woods for uh, decades. But if I do have to go in the woods, I do have to find a log to hang it over. Because I, I do not have the thigh strength required for that kind of thing, which was kind of a problem in India. Because, you know, I just went to India right before the, vi the virus was starting. And in, uh, in India and Nepal, everybody was worried about it. Uh, but, you know, so I was in India. And everywhere you go to go to the bathroom is a shocker. Because most of the bathrooms, not all of them, but most of the bathrooms are on the ground. It's, it's not a hole in the ground. It's a fully functioning, like, toilet, except it's on the ground, which I've never been able to understand. I mean, they've got the technology. They've got porcelain. They've got flushers. They've got, you know, things to turn. Uh, uh, make a seat, master seat. Just master making a seat. Because I would go, I, I can't, honestly, I can't. I might as well just stand here and go because I'll have it all over me anyway. So I just, I, I can't do it. So if you are going to India, I'm going to recommend, first of all, uh, you're going to have to work on your thighs. Work out that thigh strength. If you don't have the thigh strength, uh, don't drink any water at all, not one single thing, and eat only cheese because otherwise you're going to run into trouble. I was always able to find, a, like there'll be one with the seat. And you know how you know which one is the seat? You go, which one is the most disgustingly filthy? Oh, that one's for me. So, you know, that's good. So anyway, uh, New York City is in trouble and uh, because it's not staying inside enough. And I'm a little worried because it's got to come up with new rules. Uh, uh, the governor has requested new rules or, or a solution by uh, tomorrow, uh, 24 hours, to come up with a solution for uh, getting rid of all these crowds in the park. And I'm really hoping they don't say we have to go in. I'll steal a stick. Then we can still have the woody. 
but it would kind of suck. It would kind of suck. I wouldn't like to stay in because it really, it helps, it helps to come out and uh, fresh air. I did read something that uh, one of the best things for immune system, I already knew this, but it's good to be reminded, is exercise. So I would not like to not be able to come out because I'm having trouble sleeping enough as it is. I woke up at four o'clock in the morning, which is fun. And then I can't go back to sleep. Um, you know what I do uh, sometimes, and this is not uh, this is not a joke. <laughs> it really should be, but uh, sometimes I sing uh, in my head, not out loud. Uh, although we have a request, we have a request. I made some notes from comments. Uh, we have a request from Beth Devlin Cunin. Am I pronouncing it right, Beth? Uh, and. Uh, well, she also has the same eyebrow thing that I have, so I love that. Every time you hear somebody else has something horrible, you go, I'm not alone. Not that your eyebrows are horrible, Beth. I think they're very pretty, and I love the braids. But uh, she is requesting Bally High, so I'm going to work on that for you. Because uh, those of you who remember me from the radio may remember my version of Bally High. I'm, I'm an excellent singer. It's a gift. Uh, and so I, but I need to come up with some choreography for you. So I'm going to work on that. But in my head, when I can't sleep, I actually, uh, in my head, sing, uh, rock a -bye baby, <laughs> rock my baby on the treetop. And sometimes that works when it doesn't, I resort to the Hail Mary. And, uh, then I was trying, um, counting your breath. Cause they say when you breathe, uh, that's you, um, for meditation, uh, breathe in and breathe out. Notice your breath, but then I'm so excited that I'm still breathing that that kind of distracts me. So anyway, I told you I was uh, I was so I was reading the comments, and I love the comments so much because I honestly it's conversation. <laughs> well, you know, you guys, you're my company, and uh, so I made some notes and I made it look at this. It's on my old Rosie O'Donnell show. Oh, she's doing the thing tonight. You guys know that Broadway.com, seven o'clock. Her and McDee are going to be up at the top. Um, it's a benefit for the Actors Fund, which, you know, is wonderful. And, you know, I love her. I think she's wonderful. So uh, I'll be there and watching. So I hope you will be too. Anyway, uh, my old Rosie show, uh, uh, Stationery, which is probably why she used to call me a hoarder. But I'm not that much of a hoarder. The only thing I hoarded was Tiger Bomb, honest to God. Uh, and I didn't even mean to. It's like I ordered it and then I forgot that I ordered it. I ordered it again. Then I wake up in the middle of the night and go, oh, Tiger Bomb because I think Tiger Bomb is essential. It's really good. It works for headache. Uh, you just put it on your forehead. Um, it's also very good if a camel falls on your leg, which happened to me in, in Morocco and I used Tiger Bomb on my leg and I felt much better. Uh, so uh, some of the comments from last night. So Greg Truesdale, hey Greg, you're, uh, he's my, my best friend because he called it. So if you want a title, call it. Just call it. Be uh, Greg has, uh, Greg Truesdale is, is, does have new best friend. So you can't have that and you can't have goddess of all things because that's still Petra. Uh, but all titles that you want, call them and uh, then they'll be your, your uh, Woody title. And uh, Joe Stanford, uh, you liked my sweater. Well, I just wanted to brag that I bought it in Paris. Everything, there's just like little cheap store. It's Nina, I always call it Nina Simone, but it's Nina Kendoza. And you know, it's like shopping at Kohl's. It's so inexpensive, but everything I bought there, people always talk about it. It's just slight, it's, you know, of course it's sold in Paris, made in Italy. Just bragging. Uh, these were made in, uh, in Italy. These glasses, I got these at Fabulous Fanny's on East 11th Street and it's, uh, uh, they're vintage frames, new stock, but vintage frames. So these were made in Italy in uh, the early 90s. So, very braggy. I can't do very much longer because I'm going to have to um, uh, honk. Uh, so, uh, oh, uh, Jean Maya Christie. Uh, I loved yours. Uh, she was talking about uh, hot flashes. She calls them power surges because it makes you feel better. I think we should use power surges from now on. Every time you see something upsetting on the news, you're, you're not emotionally upset. You just had a power surge because then we feel like we're more in, in control of uh, that. Um, and, oh, you know what, Lilia, uh, you said we should do a Facebook Live. And you know what I think? Next week sometime, I'm gonna do an absinthe live. <laughs> I'll drink absinthe, you guys can do whatever you like. Um, and uh, it'll have to be at night because I'm drinking absinthe. So tell me what time you think. Anyway, it's great to see you all. Thanks for the comments, I love the comments. Uh, share it if you like it. Uh, stay safe and I will see you tomorrow in the woods or uh, someplace with a stick because we're keeping this up. See you guys.